I'm so sorry that you had to find out about it that way because I wanted to be able to tell you myself. The blog says you had an, an affair with the mayor. I w was involved with him, yes. And it was a huge mistake. Why? Is he your friend? Yes, he, he was. There was a time in my life when I was very sad, and he was very nice to me. And I just let it go too far, and I, and I shouldn't have done it. But why does everybody know? Well, because the mayor told the press, and now everybody's talking about it. And the worst part about it, all of this is the fallout that, that could land on either one of you. This is something that I did wrong. It's my problem. And it is not your responsibility or Christina's re responsibility to try to fix it, okay? Okay. You know, I'm still pretty weak from laying in that bed for a year. I was thinking, you know, maybe I could get a physical therapist to help me regain my strength. But I thought I thought the hospital was handling your physical well, therapy. Well, they're supposed to, but... Uh -huh. I was at the hospital for so long that the last thing I want to do is go back there for therapy. <laughs> of course. Nobody wants to be in the hospital if he can help it, right? See, I've got an idea. How would it be if I hired a physical therapist to come to the house, huh? Would you do that for me? It'd be my pleasure. Thanks. I mean, that would be so great, you know? Well, is there anything else I can do that would make you feel more at home? Well, not yet. It would be too much to ask. Mm hmm? What's on your mind? Dad bought me a car. Michael doesn't want to live with us. He can't live at Sunny's because it's too dangerous. And I thought that the court of Mains was a reasonable compromise. It is, it is. And, and they love him, they're his family, but you know... Michael is perfectly capable of taking advantage of the situation. He's my son. Well, I'm sure between Monica, Edward, and Tracy, they will manage just fine. I don't know. They're so excited to have him living underneath their roof. I'm afraid they're going to give in to his every whim. And Edward. You know Edward's going to spoil him, Ron. You so, know that he... Okay, so what? So what if he takes him to ELQ and says to him, My boy, someday this may all be yours. Hmm? Where's the harm in that? It's better than being a mob boss, right? Hmm? Could you stop making such perfect sense, please? I thought that's why you came to me, so I could talk to you. But don't I have the right to have a little righteous indignation if Edward's going to take advantage of my son and manipulate Michael, don't and I? if he was, what would you do about it? I'd go over there and I'd talk to uh -huh. him. Aha! Uh Aha -huh, what? Now we're getting to the heart of the matter. You're trying to come up with excuses so you can go over to the court of mains and check up on Michael. He's my son. Don't I have the right? Of course you do. But you also said that you were going to give him some space, remember? I have given him space. Hmm. I've given him a whole afternoon. <laughs> a whole afternoon. That's right. Carly, hmm. you have the rest of your life to form a relationship with your son. But for now, he's out of Sonny's house. He's safe. And that's exactly what we wanted. Get out. Last thing I need is you being seen here. Oh, well, then I guess I better stay inside. Carithos wants you dead. He's got Jason Morgan on the trail. Yeah. I'm honored. I hear Morgan has quite the reputation as an enforcer. Of course, if you hadn't shoved him to safety in the woods, we wouldn't have this problem, would we? Oh, we don't have a problem, pal. You do, which would make it a very convenient time for you to step out. <laughs> there you go again, playing it safe. <laughs> step outside the box, Z. Push the envelope. Instead of running from the Corinthos organization, I'll go to work for him. You out of your mind? Your sister is married to Sonny. You're working for him. A year ago, people would have said that hell would freeze over before that would happen, but it has. Okay, so I switch sides, so why shouldn't you? Hey, that's a great idea. You can make the introductions. You threatened Sonny's ex-wife and two kids in the woods. I, I got way worse deal than that. Look at the bite marks on my finger. I may never play the violin again. The only reason you'd want to work for Corinthos is to take him down from the inside. Oh, I know, emergency man, just got, you know, sales down, unopened uh, bottles sitting on the shelf, even 
Three Buffalo wins on Friday night aren't packing them in anymore, you know? It's serious, huh? Yeah, but the good news is I'm an entrepreneur, right? And when the going gets tough, I get creative. <laughs> What's the way to do? Lower the price of booze? What are you going to do? Better, man. What do you think? I think it's brilliant. <laughs> I think if people are going to sing in public, they usually have to drink alcohol, which means more sales for you. Well, see, that is the plan, my man. Pack the bar and get everybody drinking. Absolutely. I just don't understand why you called me in for this. Mm. Well, see, the beauty, the beauty of karaoke is it appeals to everybody. College grads, factory workers, housewives, businessmen, doctors. Where'd that come from? Dude, come on. You're a good-looking dude. Class, charisma. And, I mean, uh, chicks dig you, which guarantees that the ladies are going to enjoy the show. What so cool? Dude, I want you to be the first in line to grab that mic and belt out a tune. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Not a chance in hell.